everyone, how are you? So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a walkthrough of the Behold and See series from Catholic Heritage Curricula. So this is their science series um, that they have. And it goes from kindergarten to sixth grade. So today I'm going to be showing you guys the kindergarten. And the kindergarten is just focusing on nature. So there's like no science experiments or anything like that. It's just nature. And just like how it says here, exploring nature with stories, activities, and nature walks. That's exactly what it is. Um, so I think it's perfect for a kindergartner or even um, someone that's maybe in pre-K. But um, I'm just going to show you guys a little bit. So here, a Catholic and hands-on approach to science. Um, so yes, obviously it's called Catholic Heritage Curricula, so this is a Catholic um, curriculum, but you don't have to be Catholic specifically to use it, so I just want to say that. If you guys like the way it looks and you're interested in it, just get it. <laughs> so here is the table of contents, and it is broken up into different units. So there are four units. The first two units are nine weeks. The third unit is eight weeks and the fourth unit is four weeks. So unit one is exploring woods and forests. Unit two, exploring farm and fields. Unit three, exploring pond and river. Unit four, exploring more habitats. So I'll just give you a quick example. Week one is on rodents. Uh, week one of unit one is on rodents and the creature feature is the squirrel. Um, I'll just skip down a little bit. Week 10 is edible plants. Nature feature is corn. So for each week they either have a creature feature or a nature feature uh, depending like see week 11 farm animals creature feature cow. And it just basically goes like that. In um, the back of the book, there are some nature walk take along sheets, and they also have some activities that you can do if it's a rainy day um, and you're unable to go outside. And they have some fiction and non fiction book recommendations, and then the creature clips, which I'll tell you about. So, here is this obviously an introduction explaining the program and, um, you know everything so here's talking about nature walk science fact the creature clips and i'll just read this part here word to the wise it says um remember that your child's science studies should be an enjoyable extension of his natural desires to learn about god's world if your child seems bored or overwhelmed by certain activities, feel free to adapt or eliminate them. At this age, the goal is to encourage a habit of observation and wonder at the natural world. And um, so that is just a 100% summary of what this program is and what it's about. Here is giving a suggested schedule. So it's mainly a three day schedule, but obviously you can do whatever you want and, you know, just make it to your own and it's just explaining all of that so here is week one units one exploring woods and forests week one is on rodents so here the lesson plan is just basically as the teacher giving you the 411 <laughs> about the lesson and what it's about and just explaining the different kinds of squirrels the common types of squirrels and um so day one, basically, you're just going to read to your children the facts that are about the creature feature, which is the squirrel, and also about other rodents here. So you just read these two pages to them as they look at the pictures. Here, it tries to be a little bit in interactive by saying, like, draw a circle around the chipmunk, draw a triangle, a uh, orange triangle around the gopher, a brown circle around the chipmunk, and you know, kind of being like slightly interactive. <laughs> and after that, um, they recommend the creature clip. And in the back of the book here, it does have a listing of all the creature clips. But if you just go to Catholic Heritage Curricula's website, they have the direct links to those videos. They're just a few second clips of the either the creature feature or the nature feature in like their natural habitat <laughs> so like just like a squirrel like just in the forest or just outside and it's just a few seconds of them looking at that so i think it's cute 
And then day two is the nature walk. So for the nature walk, you can do the take along sheets, which are also here in the back. And I will say the particular sheet for that day. So here is the sheet that would be for the that um, first unit. And they're basically looking out for these things and circle it, you know, once they find it. So if you want to cut this out, you can and maybe laminate it because, you know, like things get messy when you're trying to move around with kids. <laughs> and um, then day three is a coloring activity. So basically... The child will color this picture as you read one of the recommended books to them. So once again, in the back, um, they have, let me just get to it. They have here a list of fiction and nonfiction books for each unit. Um, and I absolutely love that because I love books and I love being able to incorporate books into learning. So they have for week one, three recommended books. And I only got one of them because I, you know, I don't, I don't like squirrels that much. <laughs> so the book is this one, The Tale of Squirrel Nutkin by Beatrix Potter. And, um... This book is very interesting, y'all. Once you get to the, if you never read this, when you get to the end, you're gonna be like, what? <laughs> but yeah, um, you just read this as they're coloring the picture. And then it will have a Bible verse. So if you guys are, you know, into like Bible verses, m memorizing Bible verses, maybe you can introduce the verse like in the beginning of the week um, and kind of go over it every day and then do the activity at the end. So basically that's how it's laid out. That's how each lesson is. Um, it Day one, day two, and day three. Sorry if you hear like the noise outside. I can't like people they want to hang out today, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> so it's like so loud. I hope you can't hear anything. But the main thing that will change, there's like little things that change on day two. So this one is saying to collect different leaves and bring them home and identify them using a beginner's field guide, which is separate from the curriculum. So you would have to get that separately. And which is fine because I think like it was cool to have a beginner's field guide when you're mainly in nature and doing like nature walks and stuff. But then the other days are the same. Um, just read the facts about the nature feature or the creature feature. And then day three is to color the picture while you read one of the books to them. So, um... I'm going to flip to another lesson here. So um, we are actually doing a little butterfly unit. And so I skipped to this lesson because I was like, oh, wait, we might as well do this now instead of like waiting. And um, so for like the nature um, day, it's basically saying to get, you know, one of those like containers that you can um put bugs in and like catch different kind of insects and put them in the container and um when you get back home use your beginning field guide to to identify them and then release them back or you can do your take along sheets or the rainy day activities which is also in the back so i just wanted to show you guys the books that are for this week too just to give you an idea so one here is how to hide a butterfly and other insects so this book is just talking about camouflaging and it's really nice and my kids really like this because they like trying to you know find the different insects and this inchworm i was like is that what an inchworm really looks like and it took me a while looking at this picture i'm not gonna give it away but looking at this picture trying to find it i was like wait <laughs> So that's pretty much what this book is. And then there's this one, which is called Fireflies. And it's funny to me because we don't call them fireflies, we call them lightning bugs. Does anybody else call them lightning bugs? I don't know. 
but um, I really enjoyed reading this book because it just reminded me of catching the lightning bugs in the jars as a kid and so I was like oh I used to do this during the summer too so this was a really good book as well so I just wanted to show you guys those two uh, you know well just to show you guys like these three books um, just so you can sometimes you want to see okay what kind of books um, do they recommend and that's pretty much it for the entire um, curriculum I guess I can just like flip through This is more towards the end um, that I'm showing you guys right now. And I don't think I said it, but um, there are 30 lessons here, so, or 30 weeks, I should say. So there's 30 weeks, and I think the uh, normal school like week is like 36. So you definitely have room to, if you want to expand on something um, and do it for longer than one week, then you definitely can. So um, yeah, and then just at the back here are the different take-along sheets. So that's what this curriculum looks like. And if you guys have used this, please let me know what you thought about it. How did your children like it? Um, if you've used any of the other Behold and See series, please tell me how is it for you. And um, if you guys have used anything else from Catholic Heritage Curricula, please let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you later. God bless you. Bye.